Recognizing the member for Prince George Valmont. Well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And while we've certainly taken a circuitous route to getting to talking about the housing motion this morning, we're very happy to actually have an opportunity to remind British Columbians what an abysmal failure the NDP have been in terms of ma making any progress on affordable housing in British Columbia. In fact, as my colleagues have pointed out, uh, not once but twice in elections, this government got up and made a promise to British Columbia, British Columbians, that life would be more, more affordable under their government. Well, let's look at what RBC Economics said about this government's track record, and I quote, they are setting a grim new record, end quote. Imagine that, a grim new record. Why, Madam Speaker? Because owning a home in British Columbia has never, ever been less affordable. Certainly not uh, a record or an accomplishment that I think this government should uh, be proud of. And in fact, that's probably why they're not standing up today, actually, and having anything to say to British Columbians about how home ownership, the dream of owning a home in British Columbia, has in fact disappeared. Let's look at some of those broken promises. Well, in two consecutive elections, this government promised a $400 renter's rebate. Now, one would think if you can write it in a platform, you could actually figure out how to deliver it. Well, apparently that wasn't the case, uh, Madam Speaker, because it never materialized. When you look at the promise of 114,000 affordable homes, let's look at the results, the measurement. How many were opened? 11,000. And what happened? The NDP had to then decide they were going to actually try to refresh their housing strategy. But what it, what, what it amounted to was the fact that this government had to admit that their housing strategy was a failure. So let's give it another try. Let's look at some of the facts about housing in British Columbia. Under this government, it now requires a $268,000 income to afford a home in British Columbia, in Vancouver. Not my words, but actually according to RBC Economics. So let's look at what Canada Mortgage and Housing, their annual rental market report, shows. Let's look at this list of things that this government, under the current Premier, former Housing Minister, what they've managed to accomplish. And here's the list. British Columbia is the most expensive place to be a renter in the country. Let's just hear that again. The most expensive place to be a renter in the country. And that's according to new federal data. BC renters are worse off under this government. How much, Madam Speaker? They pay $4,332 more every year under this government. Vancouver has the least affordable rental market in the country. And Madam Speaker, that's not all. We actually managed to get into the top four because guess what? Victoria and Kelowna are number three and number four. Those are the outcomes coming from a government who in two consecutive elections, big glossy brochures, we're gonna make life more affordable for, for British Columbians. And what have they done? They have stolen the dream of home ownership away from families in this province. Madam Speaker, we also look at the average provincial rent for purpose-built rentals. And guess what? Since 2017, since the NDP have been uh, government, it has gone up by $361 a month. So what did we see recently? We actually saw that the current Premier, former Housing Minister, confirmed that the NDP's 10-year housing plan disastrously failed. Let's recall, 11,000 uh, homes actually open, and they were just halfway through. So what did we see? Well, we had another fancy press conference, and what was it? It was supposedly a refresh. In fact, Madam Speaker, what it was, was uh, an admit, was this Premier admitting that after six years and two terms of this NDP government, the results, what are the results? The absolute worst housing affordability, not just in Canada, Madam Speaker, but in North America. Way to go uh, to, the, to the government, especially in light of the fact that they made a promise to British Columbians 
that life would be more affordable. Nothing, Madam Speaker, could be further from the truth. Thank you, Member.